use of DNA to store data is not new, but so far the data was stored in synthetic, non-living DNA. Storing information in living DNA is more difficult because cells are always changing. In an article published today in the journal Nature, scientists took advantage of the bacteria's natural defense system to insert an image of a hand and a five-frame clip of Edward Muay Bridge's human and animal locomotion into bacteria E. The technique takes advantage of the CRISPR gene editing system. When viruses attack bacteria, bacteria use this defense mechanism to cut out parts of the virus's DNA and paste them into their own DNA. This essentially causes the DNA of the virus to form part of the bacterial cell. Those sequences serve as a reminder of the viral invasion, so the cell can exit and cut future versions of that virus if it is attacked again. These virus attacks are recorded in the reverse chronology of how they occurred, so that, over time, the sequences become a physical and living record of all the different viruses they invaded. The team decided to hack the system for its own purposes, says study co-author Seth Shipman, a neuroscience researcher at Harvard University. Scientists encoded the pixels into DNA. Then, they put their DNA into E. coli cells using electricity. Running an electric current through the cells opens small channels in the cell wall, and then the DNA can flow inward. From here, the E. coli CRISPR system picked up the DNA and incorporated it into its own genome. We find that if we make the sequences we supply resemble what the system normally captures viruses, it would take what we give.